<laughs> so when you're in Cornwall, there are certain foods you have to eat and try and not have them before. You've definitely got to have Cornish ice cream. Makes very nice. I got strawberries and cream. I got shit which is vanilla, fudge, honeycomb, and caramel. Very nice. We'll tell you about some of the foods that you really do have to try. As you can see, ice cream doesn't last for very long. Number five on the things you must eat and must try when you're in Cornwall clotted cream ice cream. Very nice. Very Moorish. And what's yours? Clotted <coughs> cream and blackbird. Nice. So that's number five. What's at number four? At number four, freshly caught, fresh dressed crab. So we decided we're going to have it on a sandwich. So we've got uh, crab, mayonnaise, a little bit of pepper. And that's our sandwiches. And we're going to have it with a salad, very healthy. And the final meal ready to eat crab sandwiches, salad and new potatoes. And what better way to enjoy them, apart from having a view like that. Just as the sun's beginning to set. So. Let's dig in. Well, always nice. You like crab? Yeah. Mm. I always like crab. And how's the crab sandwich? Hmm? And how's the crab sandwich? Compliments to the chef. <laughs> I bought this fresh dressed crab today from somewhere. Newlin. 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 Um, freshly caught this morning. Got it with a nice salad. Aren't we healthy? And it is very nice. Fish and chips. <laughs> and it's all for me and him, not you. Oh, I promised him a chip. <laughs> Mike, don't back too much, Phil. So, so, fish and chips. Locally caught fish. Come on. Ooh. Mm. Nice. Mm, they are nice. And at number three, it's fish and chips. See? Locally caught fish. And you've got to eat them at a harbour. So how was it for you? Very nice. Yeah. Are you laughing at me because I brought wet wipes to wipe your hands with? We're getting old. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> we are getting old, aren't we? Wet wipes in our rucksacks and... Oh. <laughs> I was full as well, I only just managed them. 
that will do for food wise for the day apart from um, coffee maybe And at number two, it's a Cornish cream tea. With scone, jam, and clotted cream. Well, which goes which? The Cornish way. Jam first, then the cream. How do you eat that? <laughs> so you're doing? I'm doing half and half. Mm. Fresh scones as well. Yeah. So what's at number one? And at number one has to be the Cornish pasty. So we're at Cape Cod, Cape Canaveral, Cape Cornwall, eating a pasty. I don't know whether we're going to share this or not because it is big. Good job I've got my own then. But what a place to eat it. You managed it. Yeah. It's hard work though, wasn't it? I don't want anything else to eat today. Of course you know what's needed now, don't you? It's a good job. I've brought the fast. <laughs> Just taking a flask up to the top of a hill with us. Make us old. Yeah. No egg. Yeah. <laughs> so you're telling us your grandma used to make proper Cornish pasty. So yeah. what's a proper Cornish pasty for people who don't know? Well, a proper, proper Cornish pasty will have one half is your meat and potato, your sweet and your onion, and then the second half will be like your dessert. So it'll be, you know, apple, apple, black currant, blackberry, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then when you crimp the pasty, you start at the meat end and you crimp round to the fruit end. And so then the miners or the dirty hands would eat their pasty. So they'd eat their main, they'd eat their dessert, and then the, the last bit that was dirty from the you know, mm. mine dust, uh, we used to away. Right. So did it have like a dividing line of pastry between the two? Yeah, yeah, a bit right, of pastry okay. Yeah, okay. To, and, to stop it into... You were saying about your grandma? You should... Yep, she used to have a little horse and trap, and used to get up early, make the pasties, and then um, get in a horse and trap, go to the mine, and um, deliver the pasties. Wow. So like they used to get Every day? Yep, every day. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it was really great. Ooh. So, so, a long so. time ago. <laughs> do, you still, do you still make them for yourself? I do occasionally, yeah. Not at the moment because I'm dieting. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about it, aren't we all? Yeah, aren't we all? Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. No, you oh, can't brilliant. beat a homemade. 
Cornish pasty. Oh, so. Brilliant. So definitely not against us or against us or whatever they're called. No, no. That, that's a swear word. <laughs> that's a definite swear word. And your cream tea, cream uh, goes on top. We did yeah, that last did night. That right yeah, last yeah. Night. we. Uh, yeah, Devon creams yeah. first, but yeah. down here, it, it no, goes on we, top. We did that one last night. We, we even googled it to make sure we did it you right. Did yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't uh, want to get in trouble. <laughs> Dum. Dum. Thank you very much. This lady wanted to ask a question. So, honourable mentions, clotted cream with anything. We're having it with strawberries, but you could have it with biscuits, cake, anything you like. But you've got to have clotted cream when you're in Cornwall. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin.